Welcome back at 814. This this summer, IU Bakehouse on Frenchman Street is baking up so many amazing treats and pastries for you to get over and enjoy. With us this morning in the Fox 8 Kitchen, Kelly Jock, co-owner of IU Bakehouse, with a taste of one of our favorites here on the Fox 8 Morning Edition, and that is the Boudin Boy. Kelly, good morning. Yes. Thank you for being here. So good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Last time we saw you, it was right before Mardi Gras. You guys were making up some really cool king cakes, mm -hmm. had the Mardi Gras season, and then the spring and now summer go. It was wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made more king cakes than I think we could have dreamed of, uh, and we are excited to have a little break of no king cakes. So now during your break, again, people can still enjoy all of your delectable treats. Of course, tons of breads, but like I said, this one is our favorite. Tell us about this Boudin Boy. This is like just a, an exercise in how like simplicity is sometimes the most delicious thing you can do. So our boudin boy is just best stop boudin. Ooh. We've uh, taken it out of the casing and baked it for about 20 minutes. Okay. And then we've got our croissanto here and soft boiled egg. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So would you like to help me yeah. assemble this? Okay. Give some gloves. Yes, yeah. I do. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I did just hand sanitize, but gloves are always great. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. Hopefully my nails don't uh, steer <laughs> the gloves that okay. happens earlier today. <laughs> All right. So we've got our, um, our croissanto here cut into a strip. Okay. And we're just going to take this boot in and go right down the middle. Any, no, no particular method to this doesn't matter no, how just much kind of like sprinkle it in and you'll as long as you get like about like an inch and a half of a little pathway there that's a good amount the more boudin the better yeah no yeah <laughs> i mean you still need to be able to close it that'll be the sign that it's the right amount okay. <laughs> there you go all cool right, all the way down yeah here i'll thin this out just a little bit, a little bit. like there Sorry, all the way. I, really like, I really <laughs> like boudin a lot I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay. And then here we just have some soft boiled eggs. They're nice and jammy inside. Ooh. And we just let them set up in the fridge so you can see like still super soft because they're going to get baked longer. Right. So you don't want to overcook those. You don't want to overcook it, yeah. So I'm cutting them into quarters okay. like this and then placing two pieces. It's okay if it's a mess, you'll see because it. Because you close it all up. You close it up, yeah. This over here so we can there you see. Go. It's the messiest part, but it's so delicious. Oh, Y'all, these are like the <laughs> best, like perfect combination of breakfast yes. items and your breakfast favorites. It's just so good. Thank you. Yeah, we, we just wanted like something like handheld and mm -hmm. portable and easy to just like take and go walk around with. And you can walk around the French, grab them on Frenchman, then go walk around the French Quarter totally. with it's easy. about a dozen of them. You'll, exactly. you'll go through them fast. <laughs> They're so good. All right, I'm just taking some egg wash okay. now, and that's just going to help uh, this stick to itself when we go to close it. Okay. So a little egg wash on both sides. And then the secret here is a little flour on your fingers. Okay. You want to try that's it? Uh, do I leave the gloves on or can I? I either way is fine. One. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and then. keeps your fingers from sticking to the dough. Is that sticking right? Sticking to the dough. Yeah. Okay. And that's going to help you close these. So you're going to pick up this top edge. Okay. It's a little soft so you might have to like kind of encourage it. And then you just want to meet that top edge with the bottom edge there. Just pinch it. Yeah. You're just doing like a. Think of it like playing the piano very oh, sharply. Okay, <laughs> new technique then. Yeah, there you go. Do, 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 do. I have to make noises. I can't just play the piano silently. <laughs> of course. I have to make mouth piano noises. <laughs> That's right. So just mouth piano all the way down. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, let's cool. Let's see if that's stuck. Okay. Yeah. And if it, like there's a little piece of egg or whatever, you can always just go back through with a little flour. Okay. And just kind of pinch it in there. Okay. And that's done. And then this is going to be four pieces. So we'll just kind of eyeball it in half and then in half again. Okay. And that is it. And then you bake those for how long at what temperature? Um, so at 425 for about 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, you want them to get like nice and golden brown on the outside. We'll also egg wash these first and just spread them out like this. Okay. Um, and then they go right in and we have some already oh, yeah. in the <laughs> oven. Our favorite part. They're <laughs> yes. already done. Right. So they'll just be egg washed like this, ready to go. You can also freeze them at this step. So let's say you wanted to make them today, but you have a party this weekend. Mm -hmm. Freeze them and then just bring them out on your tray, defrost them, and pop them in. Let's say you wanted to, I mean, it's kind of a far ways out, but the holidays are coming up. You might want to start on your baking. Could this hold totally. in the freezer for quite some time? I would say a couple of weeks. Okay. would be fine. Yeah, okay. totally. Okay. So let's see the finished product. Yeah, let's see I it. Have a whole, we have a whole bunch of them on display, but let's see them fresh out the oven, Kelly. I'm going to reveal the fact that these are not hot because I don't actually have a rag to hold these. <laughs> oh, that's okay. TV, <laughs> TV magic. TV magic. My hands are magical. Um, mm. So, yes, these are those fully baked. 
You can see you get like a nice golden crust. I love when like the layers open up oh, here yeah. and you can see all that lamination. And then Kelly, for the vegetarians out there, you also make yes. a mushroom version of, version of these. Jake Rosenberg, a photojournalist, he's out at Monster <laughs> Jam right now. He's requested like 10 of these on the side for him. Gotcha. But these are the mushroom versions yes. of them up ahead, right? Up we here? call them our shroom boom Ooh. because it's like an explosion of flavor. So it's caramelized onion, mushrooms, Gruyere cheese, a little bit of thyme, salt and pepper. Oh my goodness. And really you could do any filling. Like if it's about this consistency, so like not too wet, you can play around with anything. Well, Kelly, this is awesome. We appreciate you guys coming in and most importantly, bringing us breakfast because we're <laughs> a hungry lot around here. Oh, yes. uh, but we'll be back with you in the kitchen later on this morning, whipping up something else. But IU Bakehouse on Frenchman, go mm -hmm. check them out. I'm telling you guys, this stuff, it's rolling. That's the only way to describe it. All of this rolling. All right, Kelly, thanks so Thank much. We you. appreciate your time this yeah. morning. All right, 819, let's get over to Zach Fredelli.